hey guys welcome back hope you all are doing well this is Mohammed Badrudja and today we are going to solve lab number 14 from cross-site scripting vulnerability module let's just jump to it lab is saying reflected accesses into HTML context with most tags and attributes are blocked fine so like in the previous labs whatever we are uh, doing and creating payload about accesses by using image tags and uh, sometime using script tags and all but this time this lab is quite interesting because uh, tags and attributes are blocked so we will see that in a minute let's see the description of this lab so this lab contains a reflected accesses vulnerability in the search functionality but uses a web application firewall WAF to protect against common accesses vectors okay so to solve the lab perform a cross-site scripting attack that bypasses the WAF and calls the print function very fine now there is a note in this lab it's saying your solution must not require any user interaction okay that means once this function is called you do not need you uh, user intervention or user interaction for uh, popping up this function okay so manually causing print to be called in your own browser will not solve the lab so even if you pop up the alert or print by manually uh, performing any kind of task by clicking somewhere hovering your mouse uh, on a particular button or field or place on the web page it is not going to solve the lab okay so you do not need any uh, human or user uh, intervention or interaction for popping up this print function or alert function right so let's go I'm going to access the lab directly uh, burp suite is already on make sure the interception is off uh, fine everything is good okay so this is the lab here we also have one exploit server uh, so this exploit server you can consider it is your controlled server okay means attacker controlled server from where you can pass the uh, payload okay so let's see this is the search functionality what i'm going to do first of all let's just enable the burp proxy on the browser so that all the traffic go through the burp proxy okay refresh one more time go to the burp suite everything looks good okay uh, fine now let's just see uh, one payload I'm using image tag source is equal to X on error is equal to let's say alert function I'm going to call search it and once we search you can see here it's saying tag is not allowed tag is not allowed that means image tag is not allowed fine so if i go to the burp suite this is our request and tag is not allowed fine and uh, second thing which is important here you can see uh, this string uh, the special characters are url encoded okay so what we can do instead of image let's see something else okay come back here instead of image let's see svg tag again tag is not allowed fine uh, let's try something else uh, let's say iframe again tag is not allowed so in HTML uh, you can you can continue manually like this but it is going to take uh, much time very much time because there are too many HTML tags are there so we can automate this process by finding out which tag is allowed so for this purpose I'm going to see open here the cheat sheet from the Porswigger so open this cheat sheet and if you scroll down here you can see there are all tags all html tags are there fine these are all the html tags and 
here you can see these all are the events or attributes fine so the first thing for us is to find out the HTML tag which tag is allowed so what I'm going to do I'm just simply going to use this copy tag to clipboard function uh, means this option so, but first of all what we need to do um, I'm just going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater and let's try something instead of these all because I just want to find out the tag so I'm saying h1 tag okay uh, let's see whether it's uh, working or not so if I send this it's saying tag is not allowed fine now I'm going to send this request intruder okay go to the intruder and uh, I'm going to choose this one okay and uh, as the position of the payload go to the payload and now I'm going to copy all the tags and paste it here fine these are all the tags and just simply start the attack okay so what it's gonna do uh, it is going to put you can see in the request it is putting this a tag first then the response is tag is not allowed so here we have the status code 400 again it is putting here acronym okay and the status code is still 400 400 means tag is not allowed what we are looking here is status code 200 so let's just filter out this one with the status code and as you can see there are uh, there are two tags allowed body and custom tag okay so let's see uh, i'm going to pause this attack and back here so instead of that if i just put you can try here also and you can also try on the repeater wherever you feel comfortable so body and let's just search so now as you can see the error gets changed now the tag is acceptable but the attribute is not allowed that means that means this body tag is allowed but this on error attribute is not allowed fine so uh, similarly we need to find out the attribute and for this we will use uh, this event uh, list okay or attribute list so for this purpose um, back to the intruder and I don't need this discard that um, go to the repeater first so here instead of uh, what we have here before tag is not allowed right now we know that body tag is acceptable so you can see we got 200 okay uh, status code but now we need to find out uh, on error is equal to alert like this okay so now if we just send this it is going to say attribute is not allowed fine so I'm going to send this uh, request to the intruder or you can use the previous request so go to the position here instead first of all clear everything and instead of h1 I'm going to say body on error is equal to alert fine and I'm going to choose this portion on error okay add this go to the payload clear all the list from here and copy the list of events so this one and come back here paste all the events okay fine and just start the attack so similarly you can see here uh, all status codes are 400 but there are few so I'm going to filter out from the status code 200 as you can see on before input it's 200 on before toggle 200 on drag axis uh, sorry on drag exit it's 200 on form data 200 so that means these events or these attributes are allowed but here we are looking for an attribute that do not need 
user intervention or user interaction okay so on point on pointer cancel these are all the attributes allowed on resize this could this could be useful so i'm going to just pause this i'm going to try on resize so let's go back to on resize right uh, do not need that now okay go to the repeater instead of that i'm gonna say on resize okay send this status code is 200 that means the tag and attribute both are allowed go back here here and instead of that i'm gonna say on resize let's just search this so as you can see we search it okay but uh, we did not get any alert why because maybe we use the attribute on resize so once we resize this page it is going to pop up so just uh, i'm going to change the size of the page and as you can see now the alert popped up okay but the problem is lab is not going to be solved like this because uh, for popping up this alert need user interaction now okay but to solve the lab we do not need any user interaction so what we can do here we have exploit server right so let's go to the exploit server and we will create bunch of exploits a uh, bunch of payload sorry so first of all here let's see i'm gonna say uh, i'm going to use iframe okay within iframe i'm going to say let's say source src is equal to uh, going to be going to be this side okay search is equal to copy back here paste that and after search uh, let's say okay here we have body space on resize is equal to let's say alert sorry we need to call print function right let's try print fine so this is the one and after this now here up to here this is the source right this is the source now after the source i'm going to say uh, once this iframe is loaded uh, so on load it is going to use um, this dot style uh, dot width is equal to let's say 100 px okay fine so this is going to be our uh, payload so let's try this copy back here uh, go to the exploit server and in this part just paste that okay and let's just store this and deliver the exploit to the victim and as you can see the lab is solved let's see view exploit so as you can see the iframe is loaded okay this is the iframe and as you can see once the iframe is loaded the print function is called and it is printing the page so that's it i think for this lab hope you understand it if you have any query you can Put your query in the comment section and I'm going to reply you as soon as possible. So I'm going to see you in the next lab. Bye.